Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, we got the 11th vlog edition today. So my ballpark stop is New Britain Stadium today. The Bluefish are going there, so I'm heading to the stadium now. It's about an hour drive, but uh, first I gotta pick up my boy Wellington Dotel. He's a player on the team. He actually won the Atlantic League Player of the Year last year, and he might win it again this year. So I gotta pick him up from his host family first, and then we'll be at the ballpark. So it should be a fun day. Alright, just dropped off Wellington the bus at the stadium and now heading to New Britain Stadium, so uh, hopefully they get a big win today. I always like this stadium, it's always so clean here. It's a really a great stadium. So I'm at the ballpark right now, and you can see that's where the bullpen, the seats are, and that's the door to the bullpen right there. But if you check out what the bullpen actually looks like, right behind the stadium, it's just a fence with uh, a mound. It's all actually on the, the tar. Um, it's not grass or anything. It's just pavement and they throw off the mountain here. So nothing too glamorous, but it gets the job done. All right, it's about 10.30 at night right now. I just came back from dropping off Wellington Dotel and Sammy Horacio uh, back home. Um, a long day today in New Britain Stadium. Fortunately, the Bluefish, they lost uh, four to three. Uh, they were winning the whole game, but uh, blew it and gave up a three run home run to lose the game. So um, it happens, it's baseball, but uh, that's why it is uh, tomorrow. Day two, going back to New Britain today. I'm about to pick up Sammy Hervasio, and then we're gonna head to the stadium. Just waiting at the Bluefish Stadium. The bus is leaving at 2 p.m. I don't travel on the bus, I just travel in my own car, but uh, just waiting for the team to leave to head to New Britain. Uh, doing a lot of driving lately. Kind of tired of driving, but uh, do it because uh, love baseball and uh, making the videos so hopefully you guys enjoy the videos as well and I'll keep making them. Okay, definitely had to stop and get that Dunkin Donuts drink first because it is hot today. Alright, just arrived at the stadium. Going through the player entrance now. So one of the best pitchers in the Atlantic League this year has been Jonathan Alabadejo. The only problem is his last name is impossible to spell. So I'm going to go check with some of his teammates to see, can you spell Alabadejo? A-A-A-L-I-N-B-O-N-J-A. -A Alabadejo. A -L -B -E D E J A D E J O A L B O D E J E 
H O Albadejo. All right, Jonathan. So, how do you spell your last name? A L B A L A D E J O. That's it, right there. Hey guys, so I was thinking about this the other day and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So if you don't know already, I just came back from Los Angeles. I'm an East Coast guy, I was born on the East Coast, I live on the East Coast, and I live fairly close to New York, so I like to think I know a little bit about New York. So I thought one of the topics I'll talk about today is New York versus LA. After spending a total of three solid days in LA on my West Coast trip. I have considered myself an expert on Los Angeles. So I'm basically a Los Angeles CN. Los Angeles CN? Hollywoodian? LA? Ian? So that's the first topic I'm gonna to talk about today. Los Angeles people, I don't know the name for you guys. Here, you know New York people are New Yorkers. There's New Yorkers on the street. New Yorkers driving, oh, you're from New York, you're a New Yorker. But uh, Los Angeles people, I don't know what you're called. Los angeles -ers. Like, I don't know what works. I'm gonna have former Major Leaguer Josh Vitters clear that up for me. Because he's from LA, so I'm gonna hope he knows what Los Angeles people are called. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think Los Angeles people really have a name like, like the New Yorkers do. So in this video, we're gonna cover it all. The people, the food, even the geographical location, maybe, I guess. But, and before I start this, don't take this as a bashing of either city. I like both cities. These are just the differences I see from both cities. Okay, another thing is, I've heard this, not like I would know because I'm a teenager, but I heard rent in New York is very expensive. Like getting an apartment there, too much money. But in Los Angeles, I heard the rent is way cheaper and you can get double the size of what you got in New York and get it for much cheaper. Okay, another big difference between New York and LA is the food options. In New York, the go-to like fast food but like just like American food there is like pizza and like burgers. I mean, uh, New York pizza is pretty famous for a reason, but in LA, the go-to food there is tacos. Tacos, 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 fish tacos, chicken tacos, steak tacos, fish and steak tacos, chicken and fish tacos, any type of taco you want. I don't know why, they just really like tacos there, but I'm kind of cool with that because I like tacos way better than burgers and pizza. But that is important though, the burgers, because there's a big difference there when it comes to burgers. Because on the East Coast, the burger place is Five Guys Burgers and Fries. In LA, In-N-Out Burger. Now I'm not much of a food review guy, but I'll do a little short food review for you guys. What's better about Five Guys? First off, the patty, the burger meat, is better at Five Guys than In-N-Out. And uh, second, the fries are better too at uh, Five Guys. And they also have Cajun fries, which I like and they just kind of like just throw the fries in the bag. Like if you order a small, you're basically getting like a large at like another place. It's ridiculous. And the third better part about Five Guys is they give free peanuts. Unless you're allergic to peanuts, then that really sucks. But there's some good things about In-N-Out Burger that I like better. First off, the price at In-N-Out Burger is, it's unbeatable. It's like so much better than Five Guys. Five Guys like it takes up my whole wallet if I go to Five Guys but like in and out you see people ordering like two three burgers and they can do it because it's super cheap and another thing I like about in and out burger better is that they stuff their burger better with like like the lettuce the tomato the onions like all that like when I eat a Five Guys burger, that stuff like always like falls off the burger while I'm eating it. But in and out, they do a great job packing everything in so it doesn't fall out and you get you like taste everything. And the third thing I like better about In and Out Burger is that you can actually watch them make the French fries. You know, peel the potato, wash the potatoes, and throw them in the deep fryer so you actually know the potatoes are fresh and it's not like a frozen uh, product. 
But one thing about LA people is I think they're way healthier than New Yorkers, and if I'm just gonna be honest. I would go to different shops or restaurants and there were so many different salad options, like kale salad and the different smoothie options and I don't know, I just saw a lot of people running on the street and wearing workout clothes in LA, so it seemed like LA, you care about your fitness. Okay, this is huge. It's the personalities between New Yorkers and people from Los Angeles, which I still don't have a name for you yet. I'm not gonna say New Yorkers are mean, because that's not completely true, but it's just New Yorkers, we're, we're fast paced, we're busy, we're on the move, we always got something to do, and we're pretty independent people. If you say hi to us on the street or how are you, there's a good chance we're not gonna answer you at all. But uh, LA people, they seem more laid back, and yeah, they're probably friendlier than us. Oh my gosh, this topic. I didn't know this until I went to LA. Now on this, I'm 100% on the New York side. I'm sorry, LA, I'm, I'm with New York on this. LA, something you're missing in your city, which New York has, is public transportation, like trains to the city or subways. I don't see that in LA. In LA, you gotta have a car for everything. You gotta drive, cause LA is so wide and so spread out. Everything is in driving, it has to be in driving distance. And there's traffic everywhere you go. Okay, and the final difference I have between the two, why people come to each of these cities. There's gotta be a reason people wanna go to New York and people wanna go to LA. People that go to New York, they probably wanna be in theater or Broadway or some sort of music because that's big in New York. I mean, what did Jay-Z and Alicia Keys write their song about? New York, not LA. But in LA, I gotta say, they dominate when it comes to film and TV and movies. LA is the place you wanna go to. That is where a ton of the movie studios are and if you're into that, then LA is just awesome. It's like a dream right there with all the different studios they have in LA. So those are my differences between New York and LA for you guys. I hope I didn't offend you guys with anything I said in the video. I love both cities. I think they're great cities and they just have their differences and these are the differences I notice. If you agree with any of the points I made in the video, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree with anything I said, like Tyler, you got no clue what you're saying. Let me know in the comments below too. I wanna know. Let me know from the true New Yorkers and the people from Los Angeles that have no name. Really, LA, that's bothering me. Okay, catch y'all next time. Bye. Probably should have done like a, yeah, next time.